Gaza is surrounded by a wall from all sides. Israel controls everything. And even internationals cannot access Gaza since five years without a visa from Israel. You know, imagine. You want to go to Gaza, which is Palestinian, but you need the visa from Israel because Israel controls everything. So our fear is that this is going to happen also to Bethlehem. Uh, that basically once they finish the wall, you know, it will be difficult for tourists to come to Bethlehem. And Bethlehem lives on tourism. 75% of our people live on tourism. Hotels, restaurants, souvenir shops. So if, if Israel closes the three gates leading in and out of Bethlehem, basically the people will be left without work. And I can see it happening actually. It's not impossible. So this is now the dark streets. It's depressing again, but sorry, but now we will move to the lighter side. So, uh, but I think it's important for you to feel that because this is what we have to deal with day in, day out. You know, if, if you got depressed after 20 minutes, <laughs> so imagine what happens to us after 60 years. Our approach is to say, you know what? If you look, if you analyze the situation, it's very pessimistic. There is no hope. But we are called to create the hope. It's not there. And hope actually is something we need always to create. It's never there. It doesn't come riding on a white horse. And if people would believe that, you know, President Bush is the one who is to come in the name of the Lord to solve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, <laughs> you know, bless your heart. Uh, we hope that he will do that. Uh, but hope needs to be created. <clears throat> because unless we create facts on the ground today, there will be nothing left after tomorrow for our people to cling to. And in all the projects we do, and this is really something special in our ministry, you know, there are many people doing, you know, lots of projects here and there. They last one year, you know. This year, it is sexy to have a uh, women program. So they, everyone does women program. And then next year, it's environmental. This is in. Then they do all environmental. We said, no, we don't want to participate in this reactionary, you know, reacting to the agenda of donors, but we would like to create facts which we think they should be there 150 years down the road. And as somebody who did his PhD in Christian, in church history, I like always to think in these terms, you know, whatever we do has to be there in 150 years, in 300 years. I, our church was built 150 years ago. So whatever we create here, we create with the aim that it should be there because this is what our people need. Our people cannot live just on empty words. They don't want to live just on handouts. And we would like to create already today under these most difficult circumstances the infrastructure for them not only to survive but to thrive. That is the light in the dark streets that is shineth. Thank you.